Tina, or A, do you still go back to the native daughter or they know? Do you still go back to the babalawo that they know? Do not give that which is holy to the dog, nor cast your peril of the first one. Let they trample them under their feet and turn and tear you in pieces. They don't value it. They wouldn't know what you've given them. Holiness is foolishness to people who are dying. Hallelujah. What with so much value that this holiness life, people take it as foolishness. That's why the Lord declared this month, this money is, to, this month is declared the month of war against sin and worldliness. Uh, the prophetic focus of our month of October is war against sin and worldliness. War has been declared in heaven against sin and what? Worldliness. According to Romans chapter 2, verse 1 to 2, James 4, verse 4, and 1 John 2, 5, 15 to 17. Let me quickly breathe through there before we move on to other things. Amen. Amen. Romans chapter 2, verse 2, verse 1 to 2, I read. Remember the, account, remember the prophet focuses war against sin and what? Worldliness. That, that is our prophetic focus of the month. Now, I beseech you, brethren, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service, and do not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that, your, that you may prove that is good and acceptable, perfect will of God. Hallelujah. Do not be conformed to this world, but be it transformed. If you are conformed to this world, that means you are worldly. No worldly man can serve the Lord. You cannot serve two masters at the same time. You cannot be worldly and be worthy. Brother uh, Gabriel, is it, is it possible? Never. Brother Gabriel, when you were worldly, worldly, were you also worthy? Never. No. When I was worldly those days, I were not worthy. You cannot be the same at the same time. Praise the Lord. So that's why he's telling us now, for us to attain that height that we are proposing to attain. Now, we just pray prayer, may we not be slowed down. I tell you, you if you are living in sin, you will not only be slowed down, you will be stagnated. Hallelujah. You will not only be slowed down, but you will be stagnated. Sin is a stagnator. It will hold you bound. And you know what thing about sin? It will, it will, it will magnetize, it will magnetize problem for you as if you are enjoying it. He know how to magnet, he know how to magnify things. Problem will be as if it's enjoyment. That is sin for you. Now, it's also told us in Titus, chapter number two, from eleven to fifteen. Titus chapter two. 11 to 15. Say, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men. Praise the Lord. Amen. What is grace? Grace is a machine to fight. Grace is power to do the will of God. Amen? Amen. Emotion. Uh, uh, power is the ability to do work. So, Grace is the ability to walk with the Lord. Now, he's telling you and I that I tell her that grace has appeared to the now to live the rest of your life against sin and worldliness. 
for the grace of God that bringeth salvation have appeared to all men, teaching us to deny ungodliness and worldly lust. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Teaching us to deny ungodliness and worldly lust. We shall live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age, brother. It is possible to live holy in this present life of adulterers. It's possible to live a holy life in this life that of fornication and sin. It is possible. Hallelujah. You know why? If you grab the grace, the power to live holy will be given to you. Now, teaching us to deny ungodliness and Wordless, we shall live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age, looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of the grace of the great God and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, I ask you again, what is your expectation? The Bible said the expectation of the righteous will not be cut off. <clears throat> that means Jesus Christ must come, either we like it or not. Hallelujah. The, Lord. the expectation of the saint is not to buy car. I tell you, everybody get buy car, even the sinners buy car also. Sister Joy, the expectation of the righteous is not to build us. It's not to build us. You cannot build us that the, 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 peace, the peace of this world will build. It's not possible. The expectation of the children of God should not be to have documents. I tell you, before you even get there, the people of this world, they have got the passport already. So our expectation as children of God should be the appearing of the Son of God. And that expectation will never be cut You know why? Because Jesus Christ must come. I like it or not. No matter how we fast for pray, He must surely come. Mm -hmm. hmm. Somebody's not getting me. Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the of our great God, our Savior Jesus Christ, who gave Himself for us, that He might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for Himself His own special people, zealous for good work. His own special people, zealous for good. Are you truly that? Are you a special person, zealous for the for the good work of God? Are you zealous about the work of God? These are people that He is coming for. People who are zealous for His work. People who are zealous for righteousness. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is coming for you and I very soon. And this expectation that I have every day that's keeping me going will never be cut off. Either, even if a saint die, that expectation is not cut off. It must surely come to pass. When you die, the expectation is met there. Automatically, you are there in heaven. Praise the Lord. Let's read James chapter 4, verse 4. The book of our brother, chapter 4, verse 4, our brother James. Hallelujah. Yes, James 4, 4 to 5. Please, let's go. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Mm. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Mm. Uh, the one. Do you think that the teacher saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us loveth to envy, but he giveth no grace? Therefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, forgiveth grace unto the humble. Hallelujah. Submit yourselves, 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said to you and I this morning, you adulterer and adulteress. It is not people who only go and fornicate or do that. If you are living in of, with the, of the world, you are adulterer. Hallelujah. If you are living in sin, listen to me. Jesus Christ has married us. Immediately you fall into sin, you are an adulterer. Immediately you are living according to this world, you are an adulterer. Don't think maybe it's only one a woman when a woman leaves the husband and go. No, you that is doing sin to heaven, you are an adulterer. Except you leave that sin alone and come to Christ, you are an infidel. Every sinner to Christ are infidel, are adulterers. Now, he's telling you, you an infidel, you an adulterer, do you not know that friendship with this world is enmity with God? Whosoever that wants to be a friend of this world, make himself, make himself, hey, you hear that English? Make yourself an enemy to God. If you make yourself an enemy to God, you are finished. So therefore, brothers and sisters, let us join the Lord in this war against sin and worldliness. You cannot be in Christ and be worldly. It is not possible. No, today, that if you are a friend to this world, you are an enemy, self-made enemy, self-made enemy to God, and you cannot handle it. If you make yourself an enemy to God, you cannot handle it. When you, when you drive God into jealousy, that spirit that is in you, beside, or do you think that the scriptures say in vain, spirit will dwell in you, yearn jealously? If you drive the Holy Ghost into jealousy, you are, you are finished. Sister and brother, what is that life you are living? You cannot be fighting for Iraq and be fighting for Kuwait at the same time. You, you, should, you must either join Iraq or join Kuwait. It's either you are on the Lord's side in this battle now, against sin and worldliness, or you are for the devil. And nobody on this mountain is allowed to be for the devil. It is imperative that you must be for God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And say to yourself, I am on the Lord's side. I am the Lord's side. On the Lord's side. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So let's quickly read uh, 1 John chapter 2. Hallelujah. 15 to 17. Hallelujah. 1 John 15 to 17 said, Love not the world, mm. neither is saved, but is in the world. Mm. If any man love the world, mm. the love of the Father is not in him. Mm -hmm. For all that is in the world, mm. the love of the flesh, mm. and the love of the eyes, mm -hmm. and the pride of life mm -hmm. is not of the Father. But it's of the world, mm -hmm. 17, and the world abides away, and the Lord thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Hallelujah. Praise Praise you see the end point of two people now. One abided forever, and one passed away with the world. Now, he said to you and I, Do not love this world. Don't love the money in this world. The love of money is what the root of all evil. So women love money more than their husband. They love money more than God. They will never laugh until they see money. So people will never smile until they see money. Until you mention money to them, every other that you are mentioning is nothing. You are loving the world. My dearly beloved sisters and brothers, when we were giving birth to, money did not, cash did not follow us into this world. 
and it is expedient the day you are going, you are not going with ten cobalt. See, the love of this world is passing away, and everyone with it will also pass away with it. The love of the Father is not in they that love this world. If Christ had loved this world when he came, he wouldn't have died for you and I. Praise Master Jesus. The loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes, and the pride of this world is not of our Father. Let us take our eyes away from this world. So, now, if you take your eyes away from this world, where will you put your eyes? The Bible says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 2, set your affection on the things above, not on the things beneath. There are better things to, to get to gain when we get there. There are better things to gain when we are able to put our affection in heaven. Jesus Christ will make sure you, you eat 100% joyful on this earth and eternity is waiting for you also. So therefore, sisters and brothers, let us take our eyes away from the things of this world and set our affection on the things above. Don't allow the loss of the things of this world to take you away from God. All those things you are pulled away, don't ever think of them again. And don't admire people who put them in their body. If you don't put them and you are admiring people who do it, you are still doing it. Hallelujah. You don't wear trousers, but when you, wear trousers, when you see a woman wear trousers, you are, you are naughty. Oh, oh when, I, when I used to wear. Mm. Hey, those days I used to wear, I was like this. You are still wearing it. As far as you are admiring it, you are seeing it. Take your mind away from it and forget about them. According to the Bible, what Bible says in Romans chapter 1, verse 32, not only those that pass those things, but those that approve of them will also be punished. Hallelujah. So people will be surprised on the last day that when the trumpet sound, they will see gold and silver over their body. Huh? But I don't wear them. You will wear them in your heart. So now it has showcased in your, your life now. So, brothers and sisters, let us embrace holiness, righteousness in perfection. It, the Lord himself this morning said he has declared war against sin and worldliness. He has been saying it, but this morning he said it again. So let us join him in this fight. And I tell you, at the end of it, we all shall emerge victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the short exhortation this morning. And I know we are all blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever it is that you are looking for, as far as you set your affection on the things above, the things beneath will come back by itself to you in the name of Jesus Christ. He said to me, my brother, Brother Gabriel, my Lord, he said to me one day, say, say my son, if you can obey me, everything in this world will obey you. Jesus. Hallelujah. He opened my ear and told me, he said, my son, let me tell you something. If you can obey me diligently, I will make sure everything on earth, the kings and the queens of earth, Everything that you see on earth will obey you. And God is able to do it. As we begin from today to live in the obedience of the word of God, I tell you, everything in this world, sickness, will obey you. Before you speak, they are gone. Money will obey you. Money will be our slave from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. All those things that be enslaving us from today, because we have obeyed the word of God now, they will not be our slave in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not struggle before you eat again. 
Amen. The days of borrowing is over now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The days of when you wake up and say, Hey God, how is it going to be today? Oh, what kind of life is this? That word, those thoughts is gone now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are now launching into abundance now. Amen. And not abundant that will take it from God, but abundant that will make you to start firm in God more and more in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And at the end, every one of us will make heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will not enjoy this world and lose heaven. Amen. You will enjoy this world and also enjoy heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. You will not suffer in this world. Amen. You will enjoy it too in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I am going to pray this morning. I say, Lord, I need the grace to fire this battle with you. I am, I am in the force with you. Give me the grace to fire this battle with you. The battle against sin and worldliness. Give me the power to fight. Open my pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, it shares of days. Father, the battle has been declared. Father, battle against sin and worldliness. Father, I ask and pray. I need a grace to join you in this battle, Lord. Father, I need your grace to join in this battle. Give me the power to fight this battle with you. Battle against sin. Battle against worldliness. Battle against, oh God, anything that is contrary to your will. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I need the grace of God. Father, I cannot fight on my own. Father, I cannot fight with my ability. I need your ability. I need your grace to fight this battle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Empower every one of us in this ministry to fight this battle and fight it to the end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, that strength, that grace, that ability, that boldness to stand stronger and fight this battle to the end. I receive that power. I receive that grace. I receive that anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost, because you have done it. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to pray and say, Every household enemy that wants to join force with the outsider to put me down in this battle that we have just entered now, Father, I set them on fire. Let them be burned down in the name of Jesus Christ. Every household enemy, they are not the real name they call you, they know you in total, that will want to go and join force with the devil to fight you and bring you down. Lord Jesus, consume them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We want to pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, ancients of the mighty God, every household enemy, every familiar spirit, because the Bible says a man's enemy is of his household. Every household enemy that want to join the outside that will fight me in this battle, that want to bring me out to God, Lord Jesus, I come against them, I destroy them. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost thunder. Strike them down. Holy Ghost thunder. Consume them. Destroy them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mandu Brakanda Yekudima. Reba Baba Barekitiriti. Masu Brekiti. My Father, my God. Every household wickedness. Every household enemy. Every familiar spirit. Ah, Baba. That want to pull me down in my criteria. That want to pull me down in this heavenly reason. That want to fight this ministry. Fight my wife and children. Holy Ghost thought that consumed them. Holy Ghost thought that destroyed them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. We are going to pray. I say, Lord Jesus, whatever that is in me, that will give Satan power over me. Whatever that is in my life, 
that I want to give Satan power over me to fight me in this battle. I say, come out now and be perished in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Open up my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, because it's just a day. Whatever that is in my body, whatever that was planted in me or known to me, that will give Satan, oh God, and his agent an edge over me, an edge over my family. Holy Ghost fire, consume it now. Holy Ghost fire, burn it down. Holy Ghost fire, burn it down. In the name of Jesus Christ, anything in my life that will give devil power over me. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, burn it down. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, burn it out of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, mm, anything in the life of my children, anything in this ministry, that will give Satan an edge over us, that will give devil edge over us. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, consume that thing. Holy Ghost fire, burn that thing. Holy Ghost fire, this to that in out of our body in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, the Ghost. Be that way exalted. Be that magnified. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We are going to pray. Any invisible mirror or any image that the enemy is using against me why I'm saying no here the mirror and the image will be saying yes over there why I'm saying I bind you here the image and the mirror will be saying I lose you over there now I command that image and that mirror to be struck down in the name of Jesus Christ be broken this way I pray 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 pray, pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, ancient of days, wherever they are using image to represent me, Father, when I'm saying no, image be saying yes. When I'm saying yes, image be saying no. Today, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Burn that image. This is the image in the name of Jesus Christ. Man, you black and wherever they have invoked my image in the mirror, in the mirror. That mirror is struck down. That mirror is struck down. That mirror is broken. The born down. The born down. The born down. The born down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Man, do break them. We back can run. We back can run. Holy Ghost fire. 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 That image be destroyed. That image be destroyed. That image be destroyed. That image be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Burn that image down. Burn that image down. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' name. Maybe, maybe it's not image. Is somebody from your house or anywhere that will say, it's my friend, I will be representing him in this meeting. You are not in that Kovu, but somebody is representing you in that Kovu. Use your face to represent you. You don't go to that place, but they are using you. Somebody close to you is using you. So they are going to pray. Whoever that person is, represent you in an evil way. Today, be consumed by thunder. In the name of Jesus Christ, we must pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my God, ancient of day, anybody, Father, represent me, 
in the cobu in the sea, in the air. Lord Jesus, Madu Brakanda Yiku Sitting. I say we consume my fire. We consume my fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Jesus. 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 Anybody from my family cycle, anybody from my friend cycle, representing me in an evil way, I'll know to me. Holy Ghost fire, consume them. Holy Ghost fire, destroy them. Holy Ghost fire, consume them. In the name of Jesus, and all my representatives in the Kogu, in the sea, in the land. Father, using my name, using my name, using my image. Holy Ghost fire, consume them. Holy Ghost fire, destroy them. Holy Ghost fire, consume them. Them. In the name of Jesus Christ, the black card of us, the city. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lastly, we're going to pray and say, Lord, every storehouse, every storehouse that they are restoring my blessing, every invisible storehouse, every invisible bank, they are banking my blessings. Today, I command all my blessings to be withdrawn with interest. Then, all the workers in that place. All the building, the worker, everything there be on fire now, be on, on blaze and be brought to ashes. Amen. Please make sure you withdraw your account now before you burn it down. Open up and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, ancient of days, wherever they are storing my blessing for the past, anywhere they are restoring my blessing, anywhere they have stored my fortune. I command that to be withdrawn with interest. With interest. I withdraw all my blessings. I withdraw all my favor with interest. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever bank that be storing my blessings, storing the blessings of my children and my wife, I say be withdrawn. I say be withdrawn. In the name of Jesus Christ, and I command every worker, every worker in that place, be on fire, be consumed. I destroy that warehouse. I destroy that building. I destroy that warehouse by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy that warehouse now by fire. I set that bank of 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 fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set that bank of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I set that bank of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Jesus. They consume, they destroy, they consume, they destroy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' name, we pray. 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 Let me pronounce your enemy will never have any reason to laugh at me from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. From now on, I decree my enemy will never ever have any reason indirectly or directly to laugh at me again. Open mouth and pray. Open mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, from now on, I decree. My enemy will not have any reason whatsoever to laugh at me again. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, directly or indirectly, day or night, they will never have any reason to laugh at me again. They will never be able to get me again. They will never have any reason to laugh at anyone in this ministry again. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we have overcome. Father, we have overcome. Father, we are overcomer. Father, we really want to laugh now. It's our turn to laugh. It's our turn to laugh. Our enemy will never, ever, ever laugh at us again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. As the week ends day, will to end every weakness in your life? Hallelujah. As the week is end today, I wish every one of us we, we end everything that be weak in our lives. Everything that be causing weakness in our life, I command you to end now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, ancient of day, every agent of weaknesses, Whatever that we call sin witness in my life, sickness, pain, distress, I say end now. Be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. In the name of Jesus Christ, every sickness in my body, end now. Every shame and distress, end now. Every sorrow and pain, end now. In the name of Jesus Christ, every bad luck, every ill luck, frustration, I say end now. End now. End by fire, end by fire, end by fire, end by thunder, end by lightning. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command everything that represents witnesses in my life, everything that represents shame and disgrace, and any power within me, every agent of witnesses, I say we consume. End by fire, end by fire, end by fire, every spirit of witnesses. I say, end by fire, be consumed, be condemned, be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, the Ghost. Be that way exalted, be that magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, we are free. In Jesus' name, we pray. And as we pray, so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Death will not take us before our day of enjoyment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our glory will not shine in the grave in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because I know the day of glory has started from now on. And the days of agony have ended from now in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you believe, shout a louder Amen. Amen. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Worship for about 10 10, 15 minutes before we close for the morning. Remember to this our first prayer. We meet again by 11 o'clock by his grace. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Three to three, the Lord made it easy for us, and life will be easy for you from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. Sister Ego, God bless you, man. Worship. Hallelujah.